All right, y'all. So now that we basically have the beat, um, whole beat done for the most part, uh, now it's time to do the transitions for the verses and whatnot. So from transitioning into the hook to the verse, um, I just took an air rise out of our transition effects uh, pack that's in the uh, downloads area, uh, chopped it just to make it fit, and then just turned it up with the uh, legacy effect so that it has a nice build up to it. Uh, put it in here as the transition sound. Then uh, I have our crash hitting on the one coming into the verse. To actually make the verse part, I took all, I basically took everything out except the lazy snake, uh, the bell, and this little uh, synth pad type sound. And then I have the drums coming in a little late right here as he likes to do sometimes. Um, as far as the drums, I didn't use the exact same pattern from two. Actually, I did use the exact same pattern, but I, what I did is instead of having it just keep playing like this, I just went ahead and grabbed this this one over here, shortened it up, and I'm just going to play it like this, okay? And then the only other thing I'd probably do is I'll go ahead and grab the 808. And what I'll do to it is take it to pattern 6. I'd go ahead and remove these slides from it and probably make it lower just so that the hook is more unique so just remove the slide notes um and that's pretty much as far as i'd go as far as transition and then obviously little things little drops whatnot you guys know how to do that but let's take a listen to our basically our final product and let's actually listen to it from actually let's listen to it like from actually i kind of want to build it into the hook so let me just do that real quick It'll sound better. Okay, and obviously you get a lot more technical with this, but let's go ahead and take a listen to it. Okay, and that pretty much covers my whole take on the T-minus thing. Um, the biggest thing that he does is getting that swing on his drums. Um, there's a lot of work with, as far as the hi-hats, uh, getting those to swing right, and then the different other percussion just to give it the um, kind of contrast between the computerized stuff and the more live type feel, and then obviously getting your kicks and your snares. Um, you don't really have to do much work on the snares. Um, the kicks are more into it. I usually don't, if I'm trying to go for his sound, I don't slide every single note. I just kind of experiment, like, for example, right there, we only slid a couple uh, on the kick. We didn't slide each note um, just because that sounded right at the time. And then getting the little um, 808 drops and 808 slides and stuff, which is not difficult at all. If you know how to program 808s, it's basically a couple more clicks to get that same sound. Um, overall, though, it's a pretty easy sound to duplicate. Um, they T minus beats are very hot right now. Um, obviously, an unsigned rapper can't go T minus and get a beat. So, if you're trying to sell beats, I would highly encourage you to get familiar with this style. And if if for nothing more, just at least so you can make some sales with your music, it should be pretty easy to sell. Um, they're very popular, as I said. So, if you can make some good um, beats in his style, you can probably make some money off of that as well. But that basically covers my take on it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned some stuff. Um, we'll be having uh, some other things. I know you guys were wondering about more T-minus type drums. I know I got some emails about that. Uh, we'll be making that announcement pretty soon. Um, the kit, I have the kit right here. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but obviously it's a bunch of different, you know, stuff that's in the style of his. 
um, that I think you guys will enjoy and uh, should help your beats a lot, especially if you're going this, for this kind of sound. But overall, it's just a very good kit. I've made all types of beats with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed Toro. Hope you guys picked up some new stuff. Until next time, bjones.com.